Good evening. I'm Ann Lanker. And I'm Frank Camacho. Next on News Channel 3, the Pope announces he'll visit the United States soon. Hiking season is here, but it's not all fun and games. Each year, several people are killed on what should be a beautiful outing. And police are looking for the lead singer of a major rock band. Those stories and more next on News Channel 3. Hi folks, I'm Tex Earnhardt, Bernhardt Ford, the number one Ford dealer in the state of Arizona, and here's why. Earnhardt has the best selection and the largest inventory of Fords anywhere. Listen to my brother Jim. We have brand new 1992 Explorers from only $13,900 and brand new XLT Ranger pickups from only $8,900. Folks, come on down. We promise we'll make it fun to buy at Earnhardt Ford at the corner of Baseline Rural in Tempe. I guarantee you, this ain't no bull. Sometimes it just isn't your sport. If that's the case, Play It Again Sports will buy your old sports equipment from you. No matter what kind of used sports equipment you have, Play It Again Sports will pay you money for it. If your kids have grown or have changed sports, bring your old equipment in. We'll buy it and put it back in the game. You're watching TV3, serving all of Arizona's family. Channel 3 with Frank Camacho and Ann Lankin, Jill Tyree, and Royal Norman. Arizona's News Channel, News Channel 3. Good Sunday evening, everybody. After a five-year absence, the Pope is coming to America again. And this time, the pontiff will visit Denver. He's expected to make the trip next August for the Catholic Church's 8th World Youth Day, during which he'll speak. The announcement came early this morning at a huge open-air mass in Rome celebrating Palm Sunday. The Pope even made a special effort to make the announcement in English, leaving Italian television anchors to interpret. I wish to call upon Catholics and young people everywhere to make the next world meeting of youth, which will be held in Denver. Now, the last time the Pope was in America was in 1987, where he made a stop here in Phoenix. U.S. bishops say Denver is an attractive location for Hispanics and expect that many from all over the Southwest will make the visit to the Mile High City. Hispanics are expected to comprise 50% of the Catholic Church by the year 2000. Now, Denver beat out two other U.S. cities for a chance to host the World Youth Day, and understandably, the Mile High City is very excited about the news. Margarita Zavala is in Denver now at the City Park Golf Course, where the Pope will hold Sunday Mass for an estimated 200,000 people next August. The question is, can 200,000 people fit in this golf course? There's 35 acres out here. I don't know how much elbow room that gives 200,000 people, but I can tell you this, Frank, once it's all over, this golf course is going to need a good grooming. You know, today, even people who aren't Catholic got really swept up in the excitement of having Pope John Paul II visit Denver. So you can imagine the joy the Archbishop of Denver felt when he announced the news to his congregation. Today, at St. Peter's Square, from the balcony of St. Peter's, His Holiness Pope John Paul II said, Annuncio vobis gaudium magnum habemus civitatem. I announce to you great joy. We have a city for pilgrimage. It is in Denver, Colorado. Archbishop J. Francis Stafford says he never thought he would speak those words. But it's true, the Pope is coming to Denver. For the first time, the bell used only for such an occasion will be rung at the Basilica. The word spread quickly among Catholics. It was soon old news, even to those late to church. Pardon me? Did you hear that the Pope is coming to Denver? Oh, well, of course I knew that. There are several reasons the Archdiocese believes the Pope picked Denver to host next year's International Youth Forum. The Pope has never been to the Rocky Mountain region. Archbishop Stafford says the hospitality shown to papal scouts who visited Denver was also a factor. Today, that hospitality was on display when Mayor Webb and Governor Romer joined the Archbishop for the official announcement. This is a great day for Denver and a great day for Colorado and a, and a great day for America. As a Presbyterian, 
a Presbyterian with seven children who's trying to emulate the Catholics for many, many years. <laughs> but I, I just want to say, I want to say, you know, thank you to uh, the Archbishop and the Catholic Church for causing this event to happen. But the main reason the Pope is coming to Denver is to join 60,000 young people from 70 different nations on perhaps their first spiritual journey. Pope John Paul II's message will give the youth the strength and the courage to conquer everyday struggles such as racism, drugs, peer pressure, homeless, homelessness, and the misleading impressions of gangs. As you said, Frank, this will be the first time the Pope has been in the United States since 1987 and the first time ever in Denver, so there's a lot of people excited up here. And we can speak from experience, Margarita, that the, ex the excitement will continue to build until he does arrive. Yeah, I remember. I was there in Phoenix at the time. <laughs> okay, thank you. Investigators say it was a divorced mother of three who was found killed in her North Valley home. They say 49-year-old Patricia Ann Redivo had not answered phone calls from friends since Thursday. Those friends became concerned and called police yesterday. The woman's body was found inside of her home, but police aren't saying yet how she died. Yeah. Phoenix police are investigating a late-night shooting on South 9th Avenue. They say 41-year-old Arthur Almanzar was shot in the head and was found lying under a tree when police arrived. Witnesses say they saw a suspect running from the scene but he has not been apprehended. Almanzar is in critical condition tonight at St. Joseph's Hospital. And time is running short in the search for this woman, 68-year-old Ruth Towery. She disappeared from Interstate 10 sometime after driving through Quartzsite, Arizona, last Sunday. Her family says she needs dialysis treatments and cannot go more than 10 days without them. If you have seen her, you are urged to call the Phoenix Police Department. It's an all-too-common story, especially this time of year. A hike on one of the mountains around the valley turns into a tragedy. On average, four or five people will be killed in hiking accidents this year. Just yesterday, the body of a valley businessman was pulled from Echo Canyon after he'd fallen to his death. But as Lee Davalos found out today, there are many ways to prevent such tragedies. Well, Frank, already this year there have been nearly 30 people rescued off mountains. So today we talked to a hiking expert who told us how to avoid being a statistic by taking some precautions. Something as simple as using the right shoe when you hike can make a difference between a nice day in the desert or a tragic one. If, as you're out here today, you look around at the majority of people and what kind of footwear they're actually carrying, you'll find a lot of people are in tennis shoes. They don't realize the uh, perils that they put themselves in. Dale Stewart of the Arizona Hiking Shack has been hiking and climbing for over 20 years. He's even trained members of the Phoenix Fire Department and Police Department on rescue techniques. Stewart says some injuries or deaths could have been avoided by having the right equipment and using common sense. Instead of being directly on your back and getting hotter, it, it simply uh, is worn around your waist. Uh, they are the sort of thing that you want to always take along on a day hike is, is water. You want to have plenty of water with you. You never want to find yourself short. You'd rather have too much than too little. Along with plenty of water, Stewart says it's always good to have snacks like this power bar, an extra pair of socks, and most importantly, a first aid kit. You'll have uh, band-aids, you'll have tweezers, you'll have a variety of things in there, such as uh, a lot of folks get into cactus that aren't familiar with them, and they're, uh, uh, they'll help you uh, pull those cactus thorns out. A lot of people will uh, tend to stumble and fall, and they'll get abrasion. And to avoid a tragedy like yesterday's that killed 54-year-old Robert Fairchild, Stewart says folks should use common sense and stay within marked trails. A whistle uh, carries uh, much, much further the sound uh, than does a, a person's voice. If he had had any energy left to uh, at least blow uh, uh, the whistle, uh, someone might have been able to hear him. Even today at Camelback um, Mountain, an example of what not to do happens. Oh, absolutely. He should have ropes attached to him, which should be attached to a climbing harness. The second fella down below shouldn't be climbing directly under him. If the fella from above falls, he's simply going to fall on top of his friend, and they're going to both plummet to the ground and be injured. Stay on your feet. Keep the weight on your feet. Don't lay down on the rock. One of the climbers was able to come down himself, but the other one needed help. When we got about halfway, it started turning into dirt, so we started to come back down. 
And uh, so I was real appreciative of the guys for coming over to make sure we were okay. Kurt says if you are a first-time hiker, the best thing to do before you hit the trails is to take a hiking class. Frank? Education is the best thing on this thing. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Still ahead, the search is on for the lead singer of the rock group, Guns N' Roses. He's apparently laying low after hearing there's an arrest warrant out there with his name on it. And some golf vets think they brought back more from the war than they bargained, including some sort of mysterious disease. And that story is next. By the time I had gotten into the emergency room, I can recall my heart stopped beating twice. 34 years old, it, it was quite frightening. Listen to those in no humana. My biggest concern was having one more chance of seeing my family and, and even seeing my kids graduate from high school. From the emergency room staff until the ending days of cardiac rehab, the Humana staff has just been great. Humana, what's more important than your health? Oh, beautiful for spacious skies often carry cold germs. A purple mountain's majesty might be covered with poison ivy. So Walgreens offers 24-hour service, prescription savings, and over 1,600 satellite link locations. As America's leading pharmacy, Walgreens covers your needs from sea to shining sea. Not to mention nose to shining nose. Walgreens, the pharmacy America trusts. Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles! Ed Sullivan was the first to bring us the band four, Elvis Presley and the Jackson Five. This weekend, Entertainment Tonight has a really big show honoring Ed Sullivan with rarely seen footage of your favorite stars featuring Jerry Lewis, the Beach Boys, and many more. Plus, Stephen King, see the light side of the master of horror this weekend on Entertainment Tonight. Tonight at 10.30, right after News Channel 3. Axl Rose is apparently on the lam. There's a warrant out for the arrest of the lead singer of the rock group Guns N' Roses. He's facing assault and property damage charges stemming from a riot at a Guns N' Roses concert in St. Louis last year. A spokesman for the group's record company says Rose took off Friday when he found out that the St. Louis Sheriff's Department was planning to arrest him. The band show that that night in Chicago was canceled, and today Guns N' Roses have also canceled two other concerts. A group of Gulf veterans may have brought back more than a victory from the fighting. Army doctors are running a battery of tests on all the reservists from the 123rd Reserve Command in Indianapolis. The group apparently is reporting all sorts of symptoms that some believe may be linked to one mysterious illness. Reservists say they've suffered hair loss, muscle aches, and fatigue. One man says his muscle spasms were so bad he went to an emergency room thinking he was having a heart attack. It is raining concrete blocks and explosives tonight in Sicily. Italian soldiers are desperately trying to head off a steaming river of black lava that is creeping toward a nearby town. Mount Edna has been sending down lava for months and nothing seems to be deterring the flow. It has spilled over barriers and formed a canal allowing more lava to ooze towards a mountainside village. Tonight, bombs and concrete blocks are being dropped from U.S. military helicopters in hopes of breaking up that canal. Mm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Randy Collins is in for Royal Mermaid. Yeah, it felt like a volcano today, didn't it? Yeah, really? Yeah. Very, very, very warm temperatures here in the Phoenix area. How warm did it get here in the Phoenix area? We'll tell you next on News Channel 3. You know, when you play lotto, you get to choose exactly how you'd like to collect the jackpot. You can have it paid out over 20 years or collect approximately half the jackpot in one lump sum. And considering every lotto jackpot is worth at least a million dollars... That's no small change. I'd like to make a deposit, please. Certainly. 296, 298, 97. Oh, one, two, three. Wow, you name better game. Hi, folks, I'm Tex Earnhardt. Earnhardt Ford, the number one Ford dealer in the state of Arizona, and here's why. Earnhardt has the best selection and the largest inventory of Fords anywhere. Listen to my brother Jim. We have brand new 1992 Explorers from only $13,900 and brand new XLT Ranger pickups from only $8,900. Folks, come on down. We promise we'll make it fun to buy at Earnhardt Ford at the corner of Baseline Rural in Tempe. I guarantee you, this ain't no bull. Cliff here at IHOP. You know, most people think of just one thing when they think of IHOP. But actually, IHOP makes much more than just great pancakes. Sushi? Oh, nobody 
does breakfast like IHOP does breakfast. Big Country Breakfast, just $4.99. Served all day, every day at your Phoenix area IHOPs now. We know him as a Terminator, a Predator, a Kindergarten Cop. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of the biggest box office draws in Hollywood history. What is it like for this heavyweight and Bush supporter to marry into the Kennedy clan? And how are Arnold and his wife Maria Shriver adjusting to their new babies and his new career as a director? And how does he feel about that scandalous nude photo of him hitting the newsstands? Find out on the next Oprah. Tomorrow on TV3. Wednesday night's lotto drawing uh, jackpot is going to be a huge pot. No one had all six numbers last night, so the $4.7 million pot will roll over once again. The numbers drawn last night are 9, 14, 24, 27, 38, and 40. The watchword for the weekend is 90s. Did oh, we get wow. there? Oh, we got there and some. Oh, wow. Yeah, we uh, almost uh, tied a record. Really? Almost tied the record. Yeah, hmm. we got very warm. I tried out my uh, air conditioning in my car, so maybe you did too. <laughs> trying to brave the heat. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the current conditions are like out at Sky Harbor today. It was pretty nice. Uh, we were at a temperature 98. How about that? That's right. The record uh, high, 99 back in 1936. A low of 66 this morning. Normals, as you can see, we're well above that, 82 and 52. Okay, now we'll go ahead and take a look at those current conditions. 96, the uh, present reading at Sky Harbor. Probably a little cooler out in the suburbs. Uh, where we uh, get away from most of that uh, concrete. Humidity at 18 percent. The winds are out of the winds uh, west at 7 miles an hour. The barometer is falling and the dew point is at 45 degrees. Taking a look at highs from around the country today, as we know, it's warm here in the southwest deserts. But down throughout the south, as you can see, New Orleans with 85 degrees, 82 down in Miami. And then up along the coast, even though they had some cloud cover and some showers going on, temperatures still got it into the low 80s, but kind of cool up in the areas of uh, uh, International Falls. 31 degrees for their high temperature. Out west, things look pretty good. Temperatures 62 in Reno and also in San Francisco, 65 over in the Los Angeles area. Out in the west, we did have some clouds moving into Arizona. Not really anything that is going to change our weather pattern, at least for the next few days, except on a few degrees cooler, but no threat of rain whatsoever. The uh, storms you can see up around San Francisco are now starting to make their way into areas of Nevada, and they will be going into Utah probably by early in the morning. The main weather systems are out on the east coast. Take a look at what we have down in the south. We have a lot of strong thunderstorms that are developing all the way throughout the Gulf Coast states from eastern edges of New Orleans and uh, throughout um, uh, Louisiana, making their way into Georgia and throughout the Carolinas. These storms have produced some strong accumulations of uh, rain. They picked up an inch of rain up in Kentucky at Fort Knox. They also picked up three quarters of an inch down in Key West. Talk about snow. They had eight inches up in the mountains of Maine and anywhere from eight down to about one inch as they moved down into the plains as the system actually pushed through. The skies are nice and clear now, so tonight they will look for very cool conditions as that heat dissipates out and they will drop down into probably the teens throughout some of the areas of northern Maine. As you can see, that cold front just is starting to push down. That will help push those storms out into the Atlantic probably by tomorrow. Things in the west are going to be looking better for us. We're looking for just a high Thin clouds moving in the Phoenix area, similar to what we have right now. A low pressure system that is starting to make its way on the California coast will brush its way in come Monday and Tuesday. That will start changing the weather pattern for us here in Arizona. Let's take a look at that forecast for Phoenix and vicinity. It will be nice for tonight, mostly clear and a low of 67 here in town, 56 in the outlying areas of the valley. And then for tomorrow, mostly sunny, a little bit breezy in the afternoon, the high dropping down to 94 degrees. And for Tuesday, some high clouds, cooler and a high of 88 degrees in our extended forecast. Mostly clear, getting back up to the 90s come Friday. So we're getting a bit of a break here. For Ridiculously a bit. close to 100. Ridiculously I know, I was close. Just, I was just thinking if we could hold one of these days and trade it for an 80s day in the August. Yeah, there we go. We'll something. work on that one. Thank you. Okay. Gil Kyrie joins us now with a look at sports. Anticlimactic in uh, Augusta mm -hmm. today, right? Well, you know, Freddie Couples has played the best golf of anybody all year. And it would be anticlimactic that he would come on and win golf's major event, the Masters at Augusta. The highlight sports coming. Also, Frank's Giants lose in Atlanta. We're going to tell you all about it when we come back. Stay put. Everybody has a few favorite things. If you ever have to move them, call Mayflower. Only Mayflower pays its drivers more 
if you tell us they were careful. And when it comes to your favorite things, you can't be too careful. Mayflower. Once you taste New Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Nuggets, you'll forget about post-grape nuts. Hey, this tastes better than, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, better than, uh, our old nuggets. Right, it's much better than, oh, what's its name? Tastes so much better. People prefer New Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Nuggets by two to one. Two to one. What were we talking about? We were talking? New Kellogg's Nutri-Grain Nuggets. The taste will make you forget your old nuggets. Convinced you're stuck paying rent forever? Often with as little cash as two months' rent, you could be living in a HUD home of your own. Normal closing costs and fees apply. Let real estate pros help you buy a HUD home. They'll do everything from finding homes you can afford to doing the paperwork. And HUD pays their fees. Oh. Cliff here at IHOP. You know, most people think of just one thing when they think of IHOP. But actually, IHOP makes much more than just great pancakes. Sushi? Oh, nobody does breakfast like IHOP does breakfast. Big country breakfast, just $4.99. Served all day, every day, at your Phoenix area IHOPs now. That jacket looked pretty good on Freddie, didn't it? It, it really did, and he, he's a guy that's really come on strong, been playing great. I remember a few years back at the TPC in Jacksonville, he won that event. A lot of people said this guy is on the brink of superstardom. Well, today he is a superstar winning the Masters event in Augusta. Well, we'll take you to Tiger Stadium where the Yan uh, Yankees look to stay undefeated, and to the Palace in Auburn Hills where the Knicks and Pistons played the lowest scoring games in the NBA. But our top story Sunday comes from Augusta, the Greens of Augusta, the majestic final round of the Masters, and that's where we'll go to Augusta. And Craig Perry, the Aussie, had problems all day. The par putt here at seven. Oh my goodness. Shot a 78 today, and he was out of it. Speaking of Fred Couples, watch him here at seven out of the sand. And when you get it going like that, you're in for a pretty good day. Great save there. Couples birdie putt also at eight. Then at 9 to go to 13, yes, and Raymond Floyd made a charge chips on 14 to go to minus 10. Nobody does it better, and you see it drop. Oh, my goodness. But this is where Freddie Couples won it, dangerously close, out of Ray's Creek. And watch this. <laughs> oh, 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 that is very nice. Then at 18 to close it out and win the green jacket. And then it was the ceremonial donning of the Green Blazers, symbolic of the Masters Championship. Ian Woosnam doing the honors. Then some post-event comments. There you go. Yeah. Well, that's the most nervous I've ever been. Obviously, it showed, but uh, you get a break like that, and I just start screaming at myself inside, and, you know, forget all this stuff. Hit it left or, you know, do anything but hit it there, and uh, how it stayed up was a miracle, and so is winning the Masters. <laughs> Congratulations to Fred Couples, the 1992 Masters champion. Here's the leaderboard. Couples, Ray Floyd, Corey Pavin, Marco Mira, Jeff Sluman. We should also mention the Mark Kalkovecchia of the Valley, three under par. Andrew McGee of Scottsdale at five under par. The 1992 Masters champion, Fred Couples. The Suns taking the Sunday off and getting ready for their final two games of reg regular season. This week, the Suns host Seattle and San Antonio. This afternoon at Auburn Hills, Pat Riley and the Knicks and the Pistons played great defense. You see Daryl Walker ahead to Dennis Rodman on the jam. Oh, my goodness. More Pistons defense. Isaiah Thomas, the steal, kicks it ahead to Daryl Walker for the lay-in. And like I said, the great defense. Now watch Zeke all over Mark Jackson. Look at that. That's defense, Frank. No, you'll say it's a foul. That is defense. Got to show you the play of the day. Watch this. <laughs> off the rear, Mark Jackson <laughs> off a lay of beer. Hey, that's legal. Pistons with 72-61, second lowest game since the shot cock was introduced back in 1955. Let's run down the NBA scoreboard from today. Milwaukee over Philadelphia, 94-90. to The Bucks end an 11-game losing streak. The Sixers played that ball game without Barkley. Cleveland all over Washington, 114-91. San Antonio and Portland. Look at Portland waxing San Antonio, 123-97. Now to baseball, and three American League teams remain undefeated entering the first Sunday of the season. The Tiger Stadium, the Yankees look to win number five without a loss. It was cold 
We pick it up early. That's the base knock by Mel Hall. It gets past the Detroit's Alan Trammell and to score. Tough day for Cecil Fielder at the plate. He did absolutely nothing, and the Yankees remain undefeated as the Tigers are still looking for win number one of the 92 season. Our Sunday scoreboard in the American League. First, Baltimore a loser to Toronto, 3-1. to The Blue Jays also remain undefeated, Frank, at 6-0. Boston and Cleveland, a split a pair. You see the numbers there at Cleveland Stadium this afternoon. California, 13. Milwaukee, 9. Chicago over Oakland, 6-4. So the A's first loss of the year. Seattle, 2-1 to over Kansas City. And Texas and Minnesota playing as we speak. To the National League, the Braves and Giants rubber game at Fulton County. First inning, Atlanta's Terry Pendleton, the base hit, and that scored Deion Sanders, 1-0 Braves. Later in the seventh, Ron Gant at the plate against Jeff Brantley, and let's listen in. There it goes. <laughs> that is, there it goes. That is a deep drive. That's a three-run homer, and the Giants were up 6 to nothing. Uh, uh, the Braves were up 6 to nothing at that point. Sorry, Frank. The Braves go on to beat the Giants 6-2 to two, uh, this afternoon. Let's run down the National League scoreboard. Pittsburgh over Philadelphia 6-1. to one. Montreal 8-2 to two over New York. Chicago 4-2 to two over St. Louis. Cincinnati 5-4 to four over Houston. And San Diego 5-4 to four over uh, Los Angeles. We should mention in baseball this afternoon, the Cardinals take two out of three. They beat uh, ASU 9-2. to two. And We should also mention that uh, in... Firebird baseball. The birds over Tacoma, nine to seven. The birds right now, four and zero on the year. Here you come back again, mm -hmm. Phoenix. That's right. Okay, thanks, okay. Phil. And we'll be back in just a minute. Another Home Depot certified advantage, guaranteed low prices. Home Depot will beat any price from any store on any identical item any day, and we feature the best brands like Cool Seal roof coating. Cool Seal forms a thick rubber-like blanket of protection that adds years to the life of your roof. Cool Seal, it's easy to use and saves energy. Home Depot, Home Depot, low prices are just the beginning. On the court, this is a sign I like to see. But off the court, this is my favorite sign because the healthcare professionals at First Chiropractic help to keep me in top shape so we can see a lot more of these. They help me and they can help you. Call First Chiropractic at 1-800-75-FIRST and tell them Tom Chambers sent you. And uh, don't forget to doubt. Collection of spring dresses at department stores seventy-four dollars. At Ross, thirty-nine dollars. A career ensemble at fine stores eighty-six dollars. At Ross, forty-nine dollars. I love my calendar girl, my Ross calendar girl. She gets good prices every day of the year. Now at Larry Miller Toyota, 92 Camrys start as low as $199 down or $199 a month. And top Toyota trucks start at just $99 down or $99 a month. What you do, what I you love do, what you do for me, Toyota. Larry Miller Toyota, just five minutes west of I-17. And finally tonight, $4 billion and five years later, the wait is finally over. Hello, Disneyland. Officiellement over. Merci beaucoup. The gates of Euro Disneyland are open tonight near Paris. Some 50,000 folks entered the park on opening day today. Crowds gathered before dawn to get a good spot in line, but park officials warn they may have to limit the number of guests so they don't have overcrowding. First person in line, free lifetime pass. Excellent. Not too bad. We'll see you tonight about 10.35. Good night. Good night.